Anonymous watch guy here with an unboxing and overview video. Quick wrist check. We're in the Squale I unboxed on the channel a couple weeks ago. Really awesome watch. Definitely liking that one. And today I have a new watch from a new company called Wolf Notch. Now Wolf Notch reached out to me. Uh, they offered to send me this watch. I don't have to send it back. Uh, so definitely a big thank you to Wolf Notch. Comes in your standard kind of clamshell box with your Wolf Notch branding on top here. Stay hungry and take over. Also comes with a polishing cloth. And this is their initial release called the Convel. They also have a smart watch out, but this is their uh, skeletonized mechanical watch. Uh, and I think it definitely has some cool looks. Definitely more of a fashion watch vibe. Uh, if you're into that style of watch, maybe this is one you want to look at. Uh, but it is a 42 millimeter watch. That includes these bump outs on the side of the case. So that's all the way from this bump out to the crown guards there, 42 millimeters. I measured it just under 47 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip. You do have a 22 millimeter lug opening. I measured it at 13.6 millimeters thick. You do have a push-pull crown at the three o'clock position there, but it's signed with the Wolf Notch logo. Gives you 50 meters water resistance. This is a mineral crystal, but it is sapphire coated. So you've got some sapphire coating on that mineral crystal, so that gives you a little bit better scratch resistance than your standard mineral crystal would give. Uh, it is an automatic self-winding movement uh, it doesn't really say on the Wolf Notch website uh, what, movement it, it, what movement it is. And I asked, and they just told me it was an automatic self-winding movement. So I would assume it is uh, some sort of Chinese movement. Uh, I don't know the brand. I don't see any branding on it, but it is an automatic movement, as you can see there. And you do have the skeletonized dial. Uh, where you can see the movement through the front side as well. Uh, so it's definitely about the look and not necessarily the specs. Uh, it is stainless steel. Uh, it is rose gold plated stainless steel. So the watch is all made of stainless steel and it has this kind of PVD rose gold coating on it. Um, you do have uh, the Wolf Notch logo there just beneath the 12 o'clock position uh, and then you've got your numerals as roman numerals all the way around the dial uh, you do have some loom on the hour and minute hand uh, and then your seconds hand there is also uh, along with your hour and minute hand that same uh, rose gold plated look again definitely in the fashion watch category if you're looking for uh, something in that uh, arena maybe this is the one you want to check out You've got some vertical brushing uh, on the kind of bezel around your crystal there uh, kind of an all high polish look on the sides of the watch crown is easy to operate good grip you can hear the winding action of the movement good grip on the crown easy to operate you do have a genuine leather strap the strap actually feels like it's pretty decent. Um, definitely, uh, this backing on the strap feels pretty good. Decent feeling strap. You've got one fixed, one floating keeper. You've also got your rose gold plated buckle that is also signed wolf notch. Uh, and then on the back, you've got your display case back where you can see the movement. And then it's just some branding on the back as well. Wolf notch, screwed in case back. Again, 50 meters water resistance. So an interesting looking watch. If you're into the look of this watch uh, and want to check it out, I'll leave a link to the Wolf Notch website uh, in the description of the video. Uh, these are 249 US dollars. They are on sale right now. Uh, regularly 329 USD on sale for 249 USD. Uh, not too bad for a skeletonized automatic movement. I wish I had some more information on the movement for you, uh, but I don't. Uh, but again, if you are looking for a presentation piece, kind of a, a watch that's going to stand out a little bit, 
uh, have some presence on the wrist uh, with a skeletonized movement. Skeletonized movements are typically fairly expensive. Uh, so if you're looking for something that is going to give you a look, uh, then maybe this is one you would want to consider because um, it definitely has uh, some looks to it. So let's do a loom shot since it does have a little bit of loom and then I'll show you what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. There you can see the loom on the watch. Again, it's just your hour and minute hand that are loomed. Looks kind of like C3. It's a green glow. Um, again, it's not a dive watch or anything like that. So you're not going to have a lot of loom, but there is some loom on the watch, which will give you some legibility uh, after dark. Here's the watch of my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it has some really nice wrist presence. Gives you a nice look on wrist. Uh, again, this leather strap is actually pretty good. Uh, pretty comfortable leather strap. Again, under 50 millimeters, lug tip to lug tip. So you're gonna have a compact wear there. It's gonna work for some smaller wrists. And then you've got, again, with it being a little over 42 millimeters, almost a, almost a square shape really to the watch in a way. Uh, you are going to get some nice presence on wrist. Uh, I think it's the legibility is pretty good for a skeletonized watch. And I think it looks really nice on the wrist. Uh, so again, I will leave a description, uh, link to the website in the description of the video. The Convale from Wolf Notch. If you liked the video, give me a like, maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.